everyone! Welcome to my channel, Andra Makes. Today I'm continuing my reorganizing of my sewing slash craft room and I'm going to show you how I and my mom organized my, reorganized my patterns and my fabric. If you missed any of my other reorganizing videos, I do have a playlist for it on my channel so you can see how far I've come so far and in all those videos I show the before and the after. So I'm so excited to show you how I organized my fabric and patterns. So here we go. And here are my big four patterns I'd like to get organized. Organized better at least. There's a tote right there on the bottom that has a bunch in it. And then this little cute turquoise basket that has patterns in it and here's what I'm wanting to organize them in is this filing cabinet it has four drawers and it's brand new I got it at half priced bargains where I got my Janome sewing machine and it was fifty dollars which is not bad at all and it does have a couple dents in it but for that price you can't beat it especially for being brand new and we did spray some rust-oleum on it so hopefully that will help prevent rust and then here's some more patterns big four patterns and I'm hoping to get them in this filing cabinet and help me with this I'm thinking for the patterns that let's say they have a shirt and a pair of pants I'm thinking of photocopying the envelope cover. We called it Xerox copying back in the day. That shows how old I am. But And then I'll have a drawer or a section that says tops and then a section that says pants and then I will put the photocopy of one of the patterns in that section. What do you think? Or do you have a better idea of a way to do that when a pattern has a top and a pair of pants or whatever. I'm letting you all look at the patterns because that's much more interesting than the filing cabinet. But the drawers hold will hold two patterns side by side in each drawer. So I'm hoping to get a lot in there and I'll also be putting my indie patterns in there and I'll show you how they are stored right now. Here's where my indie patterns are. They're in this storage ottoman in my sewing room and here they are. They are organized and they're all in envelopes by categories. There are my monthly mini quilts and I have them like I said in little individual plastic bins depending on the category that they're in and they're all in envelopes so they are organized it's just hard to get to this is actually in the floor obviously since in since it's an ottoman but it's underneath my long arm and it's sort of inconvenient to have to get to them so they will fit perfectly in the filing cabinet. So I'm excited about getting all my patterns together in one place. And then I can move this ottoman out and I'll have more floor space. And my mom and sister actually helped me get these organized last year. And here are the envelopes I use for my indie patterns. I highly recommend these. I've been using them for a long time and I do have an affiliate link for them in the description box from Amazon. So if you click on that link and buy these and or anything else, I will get a little commission and I will never recommend anything that I don't use or love. And here's what they look like in the envelope. There's my Yanta overalls. And I have a little note in there. This is Yanta overall size 10 long length. And then there's all my pattern pieces inside. And then this has the little 
wrap thing that you wrap the cord around. But I really love those for indie pattern storage and they will fit perfectly in the filing cabinet so I'm excited. My well, mom and I have been separating the patterns out into categories. We got these boxes and trays and everything and put post-it notes on them that says one says tops, one says bottoms, one says combo, one says vintage, etc. So we organized all of them in the separate boxes. And now I need to make copies of the pattern envelope for the combo patterns. And then after that, I could start putting them in the filing cabinet. I am so excited to show you my pattern organization. My mom came out one weekend and she helped me and we had a lot of fun and got these organized and I absolutely love it. But I reused the cute little turquoise basket and in it I have my bags and pouches. I made labels for these folders. The file separators, I have my bags and pouches here. And then I have Christmas crafts and home. And then I have miscellaneous. And then these are my monthly mini quilt wall hangings. And then back here, I also reused that beautiful basket that my friend Trisha made me. You saw that in the very first organizing video and I have some quilt patterns and random quilt blocks and things like that in there. And I'm going to show you what's actually in the filing cabinet. I'm so excited. Okay, in this top one I have bottoms which are pants and skirts and completers which are jackets and cardigans, vests, things like that. And the way I have them in here, I have big four in the front and then the indie patterns in the back in those envelopes that I showed earlier. And then dresses. And I love the filing cabinet because you can put two by two side by side in the filing cabinet. And then in the next drawer, I have jumpsuits and rompers. And then kids, you got to leave room to grow back there. And then in the next one, I have miscellaneous and PJs, etc., and tops. And then again, there's big four, I have uh, two on each side, and then the indie patterns in the back. And then in the last one, are all my vintage patterns. So this one is labeled vintage, but then I also have them separated bottoms, combo, and then dresses and tops. And then I have my extra envelopes back there in the back. And I wanted to show you, I did end up photocopying the pattern envelope cover for patterns that had different items. For example, this one has a dress and pants and a top and a duster and all those things. So I made photocopies for each item. And that way I'll have one of these in each coordinating section. So that's how I have organized my patterns. I got that ottoman emptied and then all those totes emptied. So now I have all my patterns together in one place and super duper organized. Thanks mom! Here's my current fabric situation. This is a gorgeous cabinet that my sweet husband built. And as you can see on this top shelf here are some books and magazines. And then down here are some more. 
And then that fabric in the corner right there is vintage fabric that my sister-in-law gave me that belonged to her and my husband's grandmother. And then the fabric you see on the comic book boards is mainly quilting cotton. And the comic book boards work really well for quilting cotton, but not so much for knits. As you can see right there, those are scraps that are left over from projects. So that does okay, but I'll probably take those off. And then down here on the lower two shelves is mainly garment fabric knits and wovens but meant for garments so I'm going to get all my knit fabric and garment fabric and move it and let me show you this fabric this is some fabric that needs to be put on the shelf also on the left that pink tote is fabric that my friend Trisha sent me so thank you Trisha if you're watching and then there's some fabric in the tote and then some fabric up here and some of that is knit and some of it is woven but I need to go through that and sort it all out now that I have this shelf cleaned off that you saw earlier or in a previous video there I have all my interfacings and stabilizers organized so I have those three shelves empty so I am going to move my garment fabric to these shelves and I will have an update on that when I get it finished here's an update on the shelf I pretty much left it like it is I did reorganized just a smidge but not a whole lot I decided that it's working well the way it is so I left the two bottom shelves pretty much the same so this is working for me and then here is the shelf that I was able to get cleaned off and I got all that fabric out of those totes that you saw and I don't have a huge fabric stash I usually only buy fabric for a specific project the only stash I have to speak of is things I've got at thrift stores or things that have been given to me or when Joanne has a huge sale like 70% off I will buy ahead of time then but I do have in mind what I want to make with it so I don't have a huge stash but that top shelf is knit fabric I have it rolled and that fabric has not been cut yet and then the second shelf is leftovers from fabric that has been used and then that third shelf is woven fabric and all that most of that on the left I got from thrift stores and then that on the right a lot of it was given to me and then the bottom shelf is still the same and has my stabilizers and interfacings and trim on it so I am really pleased with my fabric storage solution let me know what you think about my reorganization and also let me know how you organize your patterns and or fabric because we can help each other a lot in the comments by reading others' ideas. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!